On February 13, 1945, bombers from the Royal Air Force, RAF, and the American Air Force, USAAF, struck the eastern German city of Dresden, a city so beautiful it was once known as the Florence on the Elbe, incinerating tens of thousands of people. Digging deeper, we find the Allies decisively beating the military forces of Nazi Germany on all fronts, including in the air. Bombers of the 8th United States Air Force, taking off from air drones in England, continue their round-the-clock devastation of war plants in Nazi Germany. In broad daylight, mighty squadrons roar across the North Sea. Over Hamburg, Germany's principal seaport and number one war center, tons of bombs rain from the sky. Aerial photographs show the results. Seven square miles of Hamburg's war industries, docks, military installations, flattened and in ruins. Water mains, gas and electric plants destroyed. Hamburg as a war center, a base for submarines, is virtually wiped off the map. Battling their way home, machine gunners blast enemy fighter planes from the sky. The return of the squadrons. Jagged, gaping holes in many a bomber testify to the intensity of the futile Nazi defense. As a wounded Yankee gunner is born from his ship, RAF ground crews are making ready night raiders to continue the assault. The British were particularly bitter about the destruction and death caused to British cities and civilians at the hands of Germany's Luftwaffe or Air Force early in the war and then again when German rocket scientists unloaded on Great Britain jet-powered cruise missiles or V-1s and history's first inter-regional ballistic missiles IRBMs or V-2s. Winston Churchill, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, authorized the massive bombing of Dresden, a beautiful old city that was claimed by the Germans to be a non-military city. There was, however, some military value to the city, and the rail yards were the declared target. Why rail yards would need more than a third of the 4,000 tons of bombs to be incendiary bombs it's not really clear. What is clear is that the streams of hundreds of bombers blew up and burned out pretty much the entire city center, destroying centuries-old buildings and cultural centers. Unfortunately, the population of Dresden was swollen at that time by hundreds of thousands of refugees, mostly women and children, to a total of perhaps 1.2 million. A minimum of 25,000 people died in this massive bombing raid, most by incineration in the firestorm that was caused by the incendiary bombs, or firebombs. Nazi authorities, likely exaggerating for propaganda purposes, claimed 200,000 civilian deaths and estimates as high as 500,000 fatalities have been made. If these more extreme estimates have any validity, then the Dresden death toll would potentially surpass the estimated 129,000 to 226,000 killed in the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. In terms of physical destruction beyond that of human losses, the bombing of Dresden and the resulting firestorm destroyed over 1,600 acres, 6.5 kilometers square of the city center. By comparison, the atomic bombing of Hiroshima resulted in a radius of total destruction of about one mile, 1.6 kilometers, with resulting fires across 4.4 square miles, 11 kilometers squared. Obviously, this kind of carnage purposely caused with little if any military need for it so late in the war 
caused many people to question the morality and legality of the raid. With many times more attention paid to the fates of Hiroshima and Nagasaki due to their destruction by the first use of atomic bombs, Dresden has been forgotten by many, but certainly not by the relatives of those killed. The terrible raid is commemorated each year on its anniversary by demonstrations and is depicted in a novel by Kurt Vonnegut, Slaughterhouse-Five from 1969, in which he recounts his real-life memory as a witness to the raid while being held as a prisoner of war in Dresden. A movie by the same name was released in 1972. As a question for my students, was the firebombing of Dresden justified? Please let me know why or why not in the comment section below. If you like this video and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines. Your viewership is much appreciated.